Hey everybody, I just thought I'd share uh, my unboxing of this uh, Acara Hub M2. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this installed, so uh, let's see what we're up against here. Okay, well for starters it seems we're up against uh, getting this thing out of the package. There we go. Here to have opened it upside down. Okay, so this is uh, it's pretty light, you know, not a whole lot of heft to it. You can see here it's a, a Zigbee, uh, it's got a Zigbee coat on the back. Got a nice manual here with another Zigbee code on the back. Looks like 11 pages of uh, English instructions. Very small print. Might be worth um, getting out on the internet to take a look at all this and see what it comes with. Okay, well, it doesn't get any easier than that. It, it looks like it just came with a a hub and a, and a power supply. Um, this looks like it's USB. So I'll need to find yet another USB wall block. It looks like um, looks like you've got the mini USB on this side and the USB A on this side. So uh, let's get it plugged in and and. See how it works. Okay, so it looks like it has a variety of uh, ways you connect. Um, right here we have an Ethernet port we can connect into. Uh, this looks like um, mini USB and another uh, USB A. Ready to connect. Please open the Acara Home app. Okay, so now I'm getting a message that it's ready to connect. Uh, you can see it, a uh, little yellow blinking wow. light on the front here. Uh, I plugged it in here to the to the mini USB on the back and have it plugged into my my final uh, wall charger. And let's uh, let's open the app and. Um, see what's in there so now we're in the app and we want to add our m2 hub so on the accessories tab just click the little plus symbol on top right we'll scroll down here to the hub m2 we'll select the indicator light is flashing yellow because that's our case next step you can change your home name here if you want to go to the next step and now we're going to add the accessory from the zigbee code I'm using the one on the instruction manual here. I've got it blocked out. And so now we're connecting to the bridge. Takes a little while, but once you get there, um, you can select your bridge location. In my case, it's the living room. And we're going to keep the default name here. Uh, I don't like system here. That's a pretty vague term, so I'm just going to rename it here. Call it M2 Hub. We're going to skip this for now. And you can see that it's been added to my home. And it's binding the device says edit successfully we're going to assign the location to my living room uh, you can change the icon here if you'd like I think I'm just going to keep it the same and we can hit done 
And now if you click on it, you can also add an IR device if you want. Uh, so if you want to make it be a remote control for something, if you've got it in the proper location, they've got TVs, projectors. And we'll go take a look at it in HomeKit and see what it looks like there. Go to my home page. And if you scroll down, you can see M2 Hub is now showing off. It's showing uh, showing up as off. Um, we're going to go ahead and set it in a home uh, mode. And, you know, so, you know, we're at home. This is going to be my scene for at home. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you know, we'll be adding uh, some sensors to this, but, you know, having this up here is going to make all those sensors integrate nicely with HomeKit. And that's all I have for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and like and subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Thanks a lot.